sound from somewhere. It's Batman! Ah! What's up, Martin? Don't you have a call with Angelo? Yes, yes, with Angelo Burkle, and it's in five minutes! I only took a short break. Nice view here, and some fresh air. Okay... And why does your car smoke? Oh, that's totally normal. I think today is just a very hot day. It's the best car I ever had. Yeah, sure. How much did you invest in the best car you ever had? Hmm, let me have a flashback. Three, two, one. Four hundred, five hundred thousand, twelve. It wasn't that much. My friend, would you have invested all the money directly into something nice like my Ben Man Mobile? Then you wouldn't be late for your call with Angela. Yeah, Angelo Burkle. Yeah, with Angela Burkle. Feel it. Oh yeah. Always the same picture. Hello, I am Chris, and you certainly noticed which cognitive bias Martin has to deal with. Right, status quo bias and sunk cost fallacy. Martin doesn't want things to change and cannot let go of his old environment. Also, over time, he's already invested so much into his car that he feels pressure to keep investing. He doesn't realize that his past investments are sunk costs and cannot be recovered. So he keeps throwing good money after bad choices. This, of course, increases his mountain of sunk costs. Clearly a vicious cycle. Because he wants everything to stay the same. Martin should ask himself whether he should spend that much money for the same car if he had to buy it. So he could have a really nice car like Benman Mobile for the whole past investments in his old car. Is it worth throwing more cash into a bad investment? We should all be aware of this. If you want to learn more about cognitive biases and decision-making, go check out the Issue Management Academy. 